Hello and welcome back. If you are first time uh, joining us, uh, welcome to live streaming. Uh, if you are regular, again, welcome back. So today's the last day of dialing in uh, espresso, the grinder. So today is the last one, the last grinder we have. It's called Eureka Minion Zero. Okay, so this is zero. So uh, tomorrow is going to be a lot of fun. I think uh, tomorrow we're going to go live between 9 and 10 o'clock. Okay, between maybe like 9 and 10, 10 o'clock tomorrow. These grinders here, we got uh, Eureka Minion Zero, DF64, EK43, and P64. We are going to do blind tasting. Okay, I'm going uh, to I'm going to pull the four shots each grinder and I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna have my friend come over tomorrow morning and hopefully he's gonna show up okay and uh, hopefully he's gonna show up uh, he's gonna taste all four he's gonna rank it okay which one is his one of his favorite and then uh, so we are playing with all four flat birds okay four flappers so <clears throat> you know what uh, let's uh, give, give you guys an overview on the Eureka Zero Minion Zero so it's not the Eureka Aura they're different. So this is a brand new grinder from Eureka. Uh, should be coming out uh, shortly. Uh, I had it for my, uh, I had it for about a month or so. I've been playing with it. Fantastic uh, coffee grinder. So this is a 55 millimeter flapper from Eureka, single dose. By the way, I saw. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna talk about this grinder more in depth later. Uh, extreme here. Uh, extremely simple grinder here. I got the hopper on the top. You got the bellow. That's it. You got the on and off switch. Okay, listen to this. Hopefully, you guys can hear it. Man, so quiet, guys. If you're looking for a quiet grinder, this is it. Compare with the DF64. It's pretty, you know, it's not too bad. I mean, a lot quieter than EK43. And then P64 here. Man, P64 and Eureka Minion Zero, neck and neck. Yeah, they're both fantastic. I mean, if you're, if you're looking for something quiet, grinder, I think Eureka is, is right up there. Okay, is right up there. All right, <clears throat> so here's what we're going to do. Okay, again, uh, tomorrow morning we're going to go... Uh, Comparing all four different grinders tomorrow morning. We're gonna do the blind taste and then today So we got the, every three grinders dialed in already. So I don't have to do anything for tomorrow morning We're just gonna pull the shot quick. So today let's dial in uh, this grinder right now. Let's see here My current grinder setting is at number One at the moment. Okay, so number one I got my 18 gram already dose out you know what? Let's get going. Okay, let's not waste your time here. I'm gonna shout out to you. Got the uh, Rappos on. We got Justin. You got uh, Leroy and Florian from Germany. Okay, here we go. I'm very excited about tomorrow morning. Should be fantastic. All right, I got my coffee here, pour a filter. So uh, I'm going to be adding all my four shots tomorrow, uh, puck paper. Okay. I mean, I, I mean, I like the taste that this puck paper on my coffee because sometimes the, the filter out the, a lot of crema as the oil in the coffee. So I like that. Okay. I like the flavor, so there we go. And I always do the RDT whenever I do the flat burr. With the conical burr, not so much, but just a single drop of water. Just shake it well. Turn the 
copy grinder. Okay. There we go. Let's do it. Okay, as you can see, uh, grinder stop. But from here, you gotta watch this. You gotta, you gotta actually pump it hard. Okay, so that's the key. So don't go like this. Just pound it. There we go. I mean, even though they are single dose, but it's not quite zero retention. That's why you really gotta work it. All right, from here. Yeah, you know what? I mean, it, not a whole lot of static, okay? So that's why I love doing the RDT method. Okay, playing with some WDT tools. Just work it nice and easy. Bottom to top. And then from the top, just rake it. Just rake it here. Okay, I'm just going to use my distribution tool. Again, so with the distribution tool here, you're not packing the coffee. You just kind of like distribute nice and evenly. And this temper, now finish up the rest. Okay, it's called Bose temper. That's it. Looks pretty good. And then we're going to add one more step, okay? Totally unnecessary, but I am big fan of the shower screen. The puck screen, let's put it that way. I'm just going to heat up my puck screen. Just put it right on the top, gently. All right, guys, lock it in. Uh, let's do like one to two ratio. Okay, let, let's try to shoot for like 40 gram. Ideally like 36 to 40 gram. Uh, comes the extraction time. Anywhere between 25 and 30 seconds. All right, here we go. Shoot for 40 gram here, way too fast. 16 seconds, 38. Man, I don't even have to try that one. All right. Right now I'm at, num is that number one? Yeah, it is number one. Goodness. I think we gotta change. Wow. I'm at even zero. Yeah, let's go to zero, okay? Okay, the thing is that my zero point is at num number seven is at my zero point. So minus seven is my zero point. So I'm at zero, looking at the speed right there, okay? So I'm not going to even try that shot. It's going to be very sour anyway. So let's do one more, okay? I'm just going to set to the side. So we're going to dial in number two. The reason why I like the puck screen, because, because that right there, <clears throat> nice and dry, dry puck. I'm just going to toss it. All right, let's work on the number two. Since we changed the grinder setting to, yeah, Let's do that one more time. Again, just a one drop of water. <clears throat> All 
Okay. Start it. I hope you guys can hear this. It's on, very quiet. Again, with a Eureka Minion Zero, the bellow thing is you gotta go. Go hard, okay? Pound it. You know, you don't have to be gentle on this one. You just go hard. All right, so this is a shot number two. The first one was obviously way too coarser. You know, I forgot my puck paper there. We're just going to go without the puck paper this time. Okay, I just totally forgot about that. quick distribution and then we're going to do the nice and easy there we go All right shot number two there we go again we are again we are just shooting for uh, between 20, uh, 38 and 40 gram, okay? Man, the thing is that, that having that puck paper definitely, uh, Make the flow a little faster, okay, for sure. There we go, about 50 seconds there. I mean, either way, this is too fine. So right now, uh, we are at number number nine, even zero, okay? And uh, with the puck paper tomorrow, I think we should be right on it. So let's give it a try. Let's give it a try the shot. Okay, so dialing in, especially this coffee is more like medium to light. It's a little bit more tricky, okay? You gotta really pay attention to... I mean, you're still good. Still, uh, tasting the strawberry, lemon, and floor. I'm curious about uh, this uh, under extract shot. I'm just gonna try this one first. Let's find out. So this is a Eureka Minion Zero. Cheers. Okay, definitely under extracted, for sure. Definitely under. So this sh uh, shot is totally opposite, way over extracted. All right, this is way over. There you go, cheers. Okay, this is more like it. Okay. I think we are ready for tomorrow. My grinder setting at just under zero, okay. Once I put the puck paper there, I think we should be fine. I think we should be right on it. So, uh, yes, it look like it's very worry. Obviously, this is a lighter roast, more like medium to light, so you're not gonna see a lot of crema. Plus, this coffee is about eight weeks old. Hold on, not eight weeks. So June, so May and June, so six weeks. So it's about six weeks old. The reason why I choose six weeks old, 
because one of you are working with the fresh roast coffee, the grinder setting is changed every single day, okay, with the moisture in the air. So I don't want that because uh, I dialed in the P64 about four days ago. So with older coffee, pretty much grinder setting stayed uh, pretty much the same, okay. That's the reason why I, uh, I, I choose updating to use the older coffee. And then, you know what? That's, so we're going to find out, you know, which grinder to bring out the most flavor using older coffee. So I think we are ready for tomorrow. But so again, I'm going to show you something, okay? Because so, uh, we are playing with the Eureka Minion Zero. Uh, looking at the website from uh, Chris's Coffee, okay? Hold on, let me flip it around here. The camera. Here's a Chris's Coffee. So Chris's Coffee taking a pre-order for this grinder. All right. Did you see the price? 500 bucks. $500. I was hoping, okay, I was hoping around $450, uh, between like $420 and $450 range, the $500. Again, so this is a 55 millimeter uh, flapper, okay, it's the same as the, the Eureka Mignon, a uh, special leader, 55, here's 55 millimeter there, 55 millimeter. I mean, I was hoping for around, around $420 to $450. Now this is priced at 500 and the only thing I can, okay, so Eureka has a lot of grinder. So this is a Eureka Munyan Silenzio, 479, uh, just a hopper. This one again, Silenzio is about 50, uh, 50 millimeter, okay, smaller burr for that price range. The reason I mentioned this price because if you go to Joe's website, the Espresso Outlet, Joe is selling the uh, uh, DF64. So Terrain is uh, just the brand. DF64, every, DF64 has different brand name uh, depend on which, uh, which country you are in. So Terrain is the US version of it. Setting for 445, okay, the 64 millimeter flapper. So what is I mean? Which means, so you could spend $500 on Eureka, great grinder. You spend $55 less, you can go with the DF64 for around 450 bucks. That's something you have to decide. So that's why tomorrow we are going to go over that. Uh, I think I have a video on that as well, DF64. So this is the DF64 version two, okay? So this is the version one. So uh, second version, you know, they did some minor tweak to it. So hopefully I can get one of these. Uh, I'll be sure to, uh, show, you, uh, show you guys as well, coming weeks. But yeah, <clears throat> man, I don't know. I mean, I was hoping because when I talked to Eureka a couple of months ago, uh, they told me that the price range is around $400 range. Because the Eureka does not sell directly, they sell it through, you know, distributor, uh, distributor in U.S. So, again, I was a little, I'm a little disappointed, okay? I was hoping for around like four to 450 range, and then looking at the price, selling for around five. The $500 range is very, very competitive, the price range. So, because, the reason why I mentioned this, because uh, DF64, 64 millimeter, you have a lot of options in birds. We got the, not only you have the stock birds from DF, uh, from the stock birds, 64 millimeter, they're fantastic, but you can also get a SSP birds. Okay, we got the SSP high uniformity, multi-purpose, and cast birds. You have a lot of options for high end. So, I mean, I was a little disappointed, but hey, that's life, right? Let's see here. So tomorrow, we are all set for tomorrow. So we're going to go live between 9 and 10 uh, tomorrow morning, the Arizona time. Uh, if you guys are around, you know, join us on our live streaming as well. So we're going to, I'm going to put a full shot straight. And then uh, one of my friends is going to do blind taste. We're going to rank it. And 
Let's find out, okay? Well, let's find out which uh, uh, grinder he likes best. But at some point, I do need to add the niche zero as well, okay? We have a niche, niche zero. That's a 63 millimeter conical burr. I, I think if I have time, I'm gonna squeeze the niche as well, so. Yeah, you know what? It'd be fun. Okay, let's see here. But meantime, I'm gonna shout out to friends at uh, live chat here, we have uh, Leroy, I saw Rafa earlier, Florian, Eduardo, Rand, let's we got the Bruce, hey we got the Blue Stocks, hey welcome back buddy, okay, Blue Stocks, it's been a while, okay what else, who else is on, we got Roberts on, Roberts said yeah not too much CO2 for sure, yes, uh, it, it, it's about 60 weeks old, Eight weeks, six weeks, yeah. So it's about six weeks old, not a whole lot of CO2. Yeah, that's for sure. Okay, hold on a second. Rafa said, Eureka Zero is good for around 380 euros in Europe, okay? So, let's see. Uh, Sir, uh, Cirrus, compare with the niche too. I think at some point, uh, we're going to squeeze in, okay? Uh, if we have enough coffee beans left, I'm going to squeeze in the uh, niche as well. We have a political beam just joining us too. Again, so this is over extract. So I think we have the right grinder setting for tomorrow. Uh, I think we're going to be ready. Okay. Yeah, it should be fun. I think I cannot wait. And uh, some point next week, all right, next week we are going to compare some different birds from uh, SSPs as well. So I, I just got a, hold up. I got the, just got a, it's called cast birds, okay, cast. A uh, lap sweet birds from uh, SSP. I think we got them all, okay. We have all the SSP. So it's gonna be fun. I cannot wait to try this one. So we're gonna do some bird comparison coming up as well. Okay, we got some, we got Karsten, he's just joining us as well, we got Leroy, I think Leroy is from Holland, okay, man, we have friends from all over the world, we got, we got the, what, Gwanda from Melbourne, goodness, down under there, I think that's winter time, nice and cold, I don't know about you guys, but it's hot in Tucson, man, so hot. It's about 100 and about 6 degree right now. Yeah, Kumar asked me, you need another 64 millimeter. <coughs> Kumar, one more coming, okay? I got another grinder coming. So now we, have, we are going to have three grinder with three SSP burrs. So we're going to have some fun. Okay, we're going to have some fun compare, uh, comparing, uh, comparing some burrs as well, different uh, SSP. So, I mean, if you guys are watching this right now, and if you are interested in which birds for what, uh, this is it, okay? S stay tuned for that. Make sure uh, subscribe the channel. Make sure put the bell noticed. If not, just show up anyway. Okay, show up, you know, sometime afternoon. I mean, I'm usually on in the morning, in the afternoon as well. <clears throat> Rappo say the orbit from Akaya I, I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know about the, the orbit sounds great, but at this point, I'm not sure, okay, because I mean, I already have two 64 millimeter, uh, the flat birds grinder, okay? So if I'm gonna upgrade something, okay, if I'm gonna upgrade something, I definitely like to upgrade the uh, uh, birds on the uh, EK43, okay? Definitely uh, upgrade uh, EK43 for sure because uh, right now EK43 has a stack birds inside, so. And then, uh, I think the Lulek Bianca is a great machine. So I'm not planning on using it anytime soon. Hold on a second, we have a, uh, Karsten, using the uh, oh, SSP with this, uh, how's the, okay, 
How's that birds? Okay, let me know. Okay, let me know. Uh, let me know in the chat room there. Do you like it? So look like we have uh, SSP the sweep lab users on. Yeah, yeah. Let me know. I mean, because I heard great things about uh, this uh, sweep lab, this Caspers. I mean, I I heard some great things about from. Uh, I think I saw one of a YouTuber last night. I mean, this person prefers cast over other SSP. So I mean, looking forward to trying out coming days. Let's see here. Yes, uh, yeah. I mean, we are. Uh, I'm I'm waiting to response from uh, Karsten. The Sweep Lab performs for espresso because Sweep Lab is good for uh, definitely good for brew. Okay, which means like V60 method, some kind of uh, the filter coffee. But I mean, if you if you bring out a lot of sweetness from, okay, here we go. So yes, uh, it's very nice compared to Eureka Helio 75. Okay, the, the 75 millimeter, I assume. It's gonna be fun to try it out. Okay, it's gonna be really fun to. We got the Michael. So Michael Rosales looking to picking up a bent wood this weekend. Hey Michael, definitely you gotta let me know, okay? Because there's only oh, there's only few, there's only a handful of grinder I have not tried. So I think I try most of coffee grinders out there in the world. Let's see. Uh, I, I, I love to try the bent wood. Okay, that's one of them. What else? Benwood is one of them, and uh, uh, I, I don't mind trying the CAFTAC, the MC4, or the MAX as well. That's the, uh, the CAFTAC grinder. What else? And then pretty much it, the only thing left is what? We have uh, uh, the, the Titus, okay? The Titus is a way, way overpriced, spectacular, coffee grinder from Germany the Titus is looks fantastic man that's way out of my reach though it's about 10 grand okay the 10 grand and so yeah uh, I'm gonna shout out to Florian Florian is going to bed right now all right buddy I'm gonna hopefully I'll uh, see you tomorrow Florian so yeah we got the serious serious coffee say what do you think about the Commandante okay I don't know about you, but Commandante for Espresso, Commandante does an amazing job, but it's a lot of work, okay? It's a lot of work to make one cup of coffee. Goodness, you know what? No, I'm, uh, but you know, let's try that anyway. Uh, Leroy asked me, a oh, single dose from Chiado. You know what? A Chiado, I'm not, I mean, I, let's see, I had a, uh, I did use that for a couple of weeks on my channel. The E37, what, a, uh, S or something like that. E74, I think. So it's okay. All right, I wasn't that impressed. You know, I, I wasn't that impressed with it. So, but the thing is, uh, there was just the regular stock birds. But once you're getting into like custom birds like SSP, I'm telling you, Completely different, you know, different experience for sure. Okay, completely different experience. And uh, let's see here. Uh, we have a, a Scar Town Media. I do Commandante for Espresso all the time. I mean, if you are young, like Scar Town, sure. Why not? Man. I mean, it took me about at least 60 seconds to grind the filter setting okay on my commandante filter coffee which means if i'm gonna grind espresso setting i'm looking at like two minutes yeah no i'm not gonna do that okay i'm not gonna do that anytime so i mean it is a lot of work yeah okay no that's another reason i have the electric grinder you got the muhammad from italy Okay, MJ, I'm considering upgrading from Minion Special Data to the, uh, Niche or P64. 
Man, the spatulina is great grinder, the MJ. Because I'm not sure you're not getting much the up the. I mean, if you're gonna upgrade something, go with the P64. P64 have uh, options for a lot of the burr option, right? You have the high uniformity, MP burrs or uh, cast. Yeah, sweet lab. So yeah, I mean, if you want to change something. Because the special leader has a 55 millimeter. Now you're gonna move up to 64 with SSP. I mean you're not you're not gonna sacrifice, yeah. I mean, because the fact is special leader is more expensive than uh, P64 with SSP, so you can sell your special leader and then get the DF64. If not, if you have a flat for 55 millimeter, even conical bar like niche is also a different option as well. Yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah. If you want to try something different, conical is definitely different than flat bar. So definitely, yeah. I mean, if you are keeping your special leader, if you are planning on keeping it, go with niche grinder. Okay. If you're planning on selling your special leader, I think I think I go with the DF64 because it's not going to cost you actually save money going with the DF64. So, I mean that's my thought. Yeah. But again, the 64 millimeter has you have a lot of options comes the burr options. So, Sean ask can special leader also upgrade its burrs? No, you cannot. Not that I know of. SSP does not make 55 millimeters. So let's see here. Uh, hold on. MJ said the P64 from Lagoon. Yeah. Okay. MJ said P64. So again, okay, so you have a lot more options for option. Uh, okay, option of uh, the Lagoon P64. You still have the same option. Okay. Man, that's big jump in price, MJ. Okay. So you're looking at you know seventeen hundred bucks compared to DF sixty four with the burr upgrade. You are looking at what six something. You gotta pay additional thousand dollars more. So you know what? You know what? Wait till tomorrow, okay? Do not make any decision yet. So tomorrow is a big blind tasting tomorrow. So yeah. Okay, Michael say Michael look at the compact PK one hundred. You know, the P, I mean, PK is also another fantastic grinder. But man, I mean, I don't like the, the I don't like the look of it. I don't know about you, but I mean, if you have for home use, I mean, make sure is that fit into your kitchen too. But I mean, if you are living, you know, living by yourself, who cares? But if you have a family, especially your spouse, yeah, no, just make sure. Everybody sign off on it. So MJ say maybe it would sell the special. Leader. You know what? I mean, yeah. I mean, if you're planning on selling your special leader, the P P sixty four is they're solid. Okay, that is a. Uh, I mean that 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 is really fantastic grinder. Reroy say Reroy just saw the single dose dose from Chiado. Okay, let's see here. The man, I have a niche, but I'm interested in flat burr grinder. The difference. Which one would you recommend? The, again, the flat burr. If you have a niche right now, which means we gotta go at least 64 millimeter, okay? Uh, it all comes down to your budget. Yeah. Reroll, you say E37Z. Brista, okay. That's a pretty good one. Again, so tomorrow morning, uh, we're gonna be doing the four grinder comparison tomorrow morning. I'm gonna pull the four shots of espresso, and then we're gonna rank it. Okay, I'm not doing it. Uh, one of my friends is going to uh, doing the blind taste tomorrow morning, and should be fun. Okay. 
it's not going to be a perfect test. Just let it go. I'm, I'm just going to set your expectation a little low here. It's not going to be perfect, but hopefully it's going to be close enough there. All right. All right. So look like cooker for coffee, say DF64, which means DF64 with uh, MP birds. That's, yeah, I mean, that's pretty good bet. Okay, that's pretty good bet. All right, guys. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday. Stay cool out there. I don't know about you guys, but pretty hot in Tucson. All right, so hold on. I'm going to, well, last comment from Cirrus uh, Coffee. Maybe new version of DF64 uh, this year. So I, I think it comes to DF64. They have two versions right now, the uh, version 1 and 2. Not a whole lot difference, but they're slightly different in design. But overall, pretty much the same. So, all right, guys. See you guys next time.